In San Diego, a Navy ship was christened in honor of the late congressman and civil rights leader John Lewis. Alexandra Limon has details on that ceremony that comes as Congress battles over the issue of voting rights. I christen thee John Lewis. One year after the death of Congressman John Lewis, the Navy christened the USNS John Lewis in his honor. Because John Lewis was a warrior. Speaker Nancy Pelosi and more than 30 members of Congress were at the ceremony. What is most important at this critical time, and what would please my uncle most, is the passing of the John Lewis Voting Rights Bill. Democrats say the John Lewis Voting Rights Act would help restore protections and require jurisdictions with a history of racial voting discrimination to receive federal pre-approval before changing their voting rules. This week, the House Judiciary Committee held a hearing on voting rights following the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to uphold Arizona's voting restrictions. This year, more than a dozen states around the country have passed or are considering new voting restrictions. Democrats say the laws make it harder for minorities to vote. What the Republicans are doing throughout the country right now is to suppress the vote. Republican lawmakers and conservative groups like Judicial Watch say the new laws make sense. You need rules, okay? Kitchens should be clean. Voting should be clean. And on the anniversary of the death of Congressman John Lewis, it looks increasingly unlikely that the Senate will pass the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. Top Republicans say the legislation is unnecessary. Reporting in Washington, Alexandra Limon.